But for most of us, we just want to take a picture and have the iPhone take a better picture for us. And we have some huge advancements in technology with iPhone 5S to do just that. First, it starts with the hardware, a new camera system. We have a new five-element Apple-designed lens that has a larger f2.2 aperture. Let's more light onto the sensor. We have a new sensor as well that has a 15% larger active area. Now, our competitors would just pack more pixels on that, make them ever smaller and cram them closer together to get some stat on a spec sheet. That's not what we do. We know a secret. We know it's actually bigger pixels that make a better picture. And the pixels on this sensor are 1.5 microns in size, larger than the iPhone 5 and much larger than most competitive phones. They often have 1.0 or 1.1 micron size pixels. But with a bigger pixel, you let in more light, get a better dynamic range of color, and less noise in the image, all to make a better photograph. The new software in iOS 7 has been designed to take advantage of this new sensor, as well as the image, the image capabilities of the A7 chip, which are remarkable. So let me give you an example of some of the things this new camera app is doing automatically for you. When you launch the camera app, before you even take a picture, it's automatically setting white balance, getting the right colors for you. It's automatically setting the exposure level to get the right brightness level. For the first time, it's creating a dynamic local tone map around the image so it can get better highlights and shadows in the image. For the first time, it's doing autofocus matrix metering with 15 focus zones. This is DSLR level stuff to get a sharper image. And then when you do take a picture, unbeknownst to you, it actually takes multiple photos. It instantly analyzes them in real time for which is the sharpest, and that's what you see on your screen. It is completely automatic and much smarter and more capable than ever before. It has a new flash as well. We call it the True Tone Flash. When you take a flash picture, I'm sure many of you know that the ambient light, whether you're outside or in a room, varies in its color temperature. For example, a fluorescent light is cooler or bluer, an incandescent light is warmer or more amber. Whatever color your flash is, it's going to clash with the color of the lighting in the room and give you a photo that doesn't look quite right, especially skin tones because skin is so reflective. Well, the flash in the iPhone 5S solves for this. It actually has two LEDs, one a cooler white one and another a warmer amber one. And in real time, it analyzes the scene and can present a color flash of over a thousand color variations to give exactly the right color flash for the room or, or situation you're in. This is the first time it has ever been done, not just on a phone, but a camera of any kind. It's truly a breakthrough. So before using a phone that has a camera with a single LED, you might get a photo like this. You see it has a warm incandescent light the skin tones don't look right at all. The wood table looks too orange. The jeans are too blue and not right. And that's really hard to fix later with editing. And this is an unretouched photo right off the iPhone 5S in the same scene. You see much more natural skin tones. The wood table looks great. That's one of the great new features in the camera system. Here's another for the first time in the iPhone auto image stabilization. We've all run into situations like this. In a room, maybe a little bit less ambient light, the subject is moving, it needs a long exposure to get a picture, but that means you're going to blur in your photo. So this isn't a keeper, you've got to get rid of this photo. But in the iPhone 5S, you get a much sharper image in the same situation. What is it doing? It actually, with a single press of the shutter, takes multiple photos and is able to combine them for the right exposure level, but select the parts of the image that can be sharpest on that short exposure time, all done instantly in real time. Here's another great feature of this camera system, a fun new burst mode. When you go to take your picture, if you hold down on the shutter button, it'll burst a bunch of photos. It can actually take 10 frames a second for as long as you hold your finger on the shutter. So it can work like this. So in two seconds, we just took 20 photos of that scene. Now, if every time you did this, you had to go into your camera roll and sort through all those photos, well, the fun would be lost. 
but the team has done a brilliant job. Using the A7 chip in real time, as you took those photos, it analyzed them for a number of variables. It checks on exposure, sharpness, whether there are faces in the scene, whether they're smiling, whether they're blinking. And when you go into the camera roll, it presents what it thinks might be your favorite shot out of all the shots. You don't have to select them. You can go inside and select any of the other ones you want. They're all there, but it picks the best one. If it notices a shot like this one that was an action sequence, it'll pick a couple shots to represent the major motions in the action, so you have a few photos from that whole series. All done in real time automatically. <laughs> one more great camera feature I want to tell you about, slow-mo. So we have a video camera you can select in the camera app. We have a second one called a slow motion camera. You select that one, and then you can create scenes with slow motion, like this. What the iPhone 5S does in that situation, it's capturing HD video at 720p at 120 frames a second. Now normal video is 30 frames a second, and you can go in and select right on the screen what part you want to be normal speed, what you want to be slow motion, and instantly create it, yet it looks completely natural and there's no loss of quality as you move in and out of normal and slow speed. Now all of these great features and technologies are simply in service of taking a beautiful picture. So we have a few photos I'd like to walk through here and show you that are all taken right off an iPhone 5S, not edited, retouched in any way. So here are some examples. Just a beautiful macro shot. You see a great dynamic range of color in this image. A still shot, you see great sharpness. With its better low light capabilities, you can get photos in all different situations that come out even more beautiful. This is a California ground squirrel or Spermophilia beachy, if you don't know it. <laughs> and the sharpness and detail is amazing. This is right off the iPhone 5S camera. Beautiful skin tones, rich, deep browns. It's a gorgeous photo. This one's gorgeous, too. A sunset shot, incredible white balance, just beautiful glowing tones. And even the great panorama shots we can take are even better with the iPhone 5S. This is 28 megapixel panorama taken with the 5S. And what makes it even better now is we can adjust the exposure level automatically as you're panning the scene. So for example, this scene is more sunlight on the right-hand side than the left of the sky. The exposure was adjusted automatically as we pan the scene. So that is the new iSight camera in the iPhone 5S. <laughs>